Yeah. Uh, the Libertarian Party and the Libertarian Movement seems to, in terms of membership, funding, vote, seems to have been a, basically a plateau in this decade. Yeah. Do you think there'll be any significant growth in the next 10 or 20 years, and what do you think it'll take for that to happen? I, well, look, I, look, if you look at the Libertarian Party, it was growing, it was founded in 1971, it grew phenomenally until 1980, okay, almost an exponential rate. Then, then bingo, we're hit. I don't, I don't think it's an accident that it was growing at the same time as anti-government sentiment in general. You know, it's like anti-tax sentiment, anti-inflation sentiment, uh, and anti-Watergate. The whole Watergate thing came in, discrediting the presidency, and all that, and Vietnam, also the Vietnam War. It all came in about the same time, in the mid-70s. So you had a tremendous revulsion against government. <clears throat> but what happens in 1980, Andrew Ronald Reagan, he had the honey voice and the head shaking and all the rest of it. So Reagan, using libertarian rhetoric and exact, doing, doing exactly the opposite, fooled a large number of people. And, and so that's, so, so yeah, that kills eight years. I, mean, I think we did great by being on a plateau. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't you know, collapse altogether. Now that Reagan is, I really place a great emphasis on Reagan. Reagan, I don't think will be, is a replicable phenomenon. I think they can find anybody who's like that. He's a beloved actor, you know, who knows all the tricks of the trade and all that sort of stuff. So. Uh, Given that, I don't see that the, that the state would be beloved again. And he, he restored, he realized what happened to the presidency. He realized the magnificence of the fact that Nixon was really impeached. I mean, before Watergate, the, the, the talk of impeachment, which of course is, is straight constitutional advice, was, was, was unthinkable. Couldn't talk about impeachment. You were not if you talk about impeachment. When Nixon came in, he was impeached. In fact, he resigned before they could actually kick him out. But he was impeached. It was a great thing, a great step forward in American history. And finally, an impeachment of the, of the president. So, uh, and with Carter, first of all, when Carter got out, I was afraid that Carter and sweater would sweep people off their feet, but that was, didn't happen, and he, was, he sank without a trace. And when Reagan comes in, it reestablishes the love of the people of the president, the sovereignty of the president, and all sort of stuff. So I think with Reagan out of the picture, it's not going to happen anymore. I mean, Bush has a high approval rate, but I don't think it means much, because he doesn't, he doesn't beloved it in the same way, it isn't magic, whatever it is, because I don't understand it, because I'm not looking caught up by it. Okay. But he hasn't got it. <laughs> and so I think we're now going to be back to a normal political scene with people rising up in hatred of the government. And so we have to, our, my prognosis is great. <laughs>